Valentina is a very unique mix of Muay Thai and, and traditional martial arts as well. You know, you, you see a lot of the way she throws her kicks. Sometimes she throws a Muay Thai style, but sometimes it looks like Kyokushin or, or Taekwondo. And she's got a snap on it when she wants to, and she spins and throws axe yeah. kicks and hook kicks like a Taekwondo or karate practitioner. Yeah. Whatever she needs to do in the sport of MMA, she's going to go out and seek it out and train her best for that particular art form. Oh. Beautiful takedown, Joe. Right into side control. 17-time world belt. Oh, oh, big, big knee. knee. But she's up. And that's one thing, Joanna, she does really well. She does find the ways to get back up to her feet. She pops back up. She avoided any major damage there. But Valentina's staying right on her. She's looking for that. She's got the head, but she could lose her. Uh, yeah. Okay. I was going to say, that's a tricky situation when you go for that headlock and give up your back. But Ioana's not really a jiu-jitsu player. Referee calls for more action. Just over Ooh. a minute to go. Big shot on the break. She doesn't waste any movement, Joe. She gets just out of the way of some of these leg kicks from Joanna as well. Final 10 seconds of the first round. Combination from Shevchenko. The MJ check unable to find the range as yet. There you go, there you go. So Mike Brown can tell Kubis, Daya Davis, giving Joanna a lot of things to think about there, Paul, after round one. Yeah. For Joanna, touch the gloves. Touch the gloves, then commit. They want her to just keep the feelers out there. They're saying that Valentina also has no head movement. But, but she, she does slides have out of the way just well yeah. enough. She's yeah. also got so much power. She might not have head movement, but she snaps back She'll at you. She'll counter right yeah. back at you. And Valentina immediately caught it. I mean, she's just coiled back like a spring ready to blast. Yeah. She's firing back. But she's also more of a technician than she is a brawler anyway. Ooh. Ooh. There's that head kick and gets taken down. And that's what she was worried about. And that's, I'm sure, Valentina wants to punish her every time she goes for that. Oh, nice oh, yeah. take down oh, from Shevchenko. And now we will see what she can do with it. You know, you press her up, try to get to a hip, get to a knee, and get up. But... Shevchenko is like, no, you're not going anywhere. I've got that arm now. Yeah, I mean, the physical strength and the grappling ability is so evident that it leans towards Shevchenko. You want to back up to her feet nicely? To oh, ate a hard knee. And that guy's down. down. <laughs> Another strong round for Valentina Shevchenko. And we talked earlier tonight about some of these mastermind coaches in the corners of these fighters. And how about Pavel Fedotov? This is a guy who was mixing the martial arts before it was the thing to do. And he has really turned these Shevchenko sisters into some absolute monsters in MMA. She's always just sliding that lead leg out of the way of those kicks. Oh! Back kick. What timing on that. Right? Oh, no so, tell. Yeah, right. nothing. No telegraphing at all. He ducked in there at that right hand. Oh! Hard leg kick. Ooh. And again, Joe, just like you talked about before, every time she throws that, she tries to make her pay. Joanna did a great job getting back up to her feet. Joanna landed that front kick and slipped out of the way. Oh, head there's kick. the head kick. There it is. Ooh. She makes it pay for it, that straight left. J check corner likes the pace at which this round has been fought. Oh man. I mean, she is just like a little pit bull when she gets on that head. Yana's laughing. Shevchenko gets the body lock. Unable to get EMJ check down. Whoa. Oh. 
Shevchenko raises the knee and lands. That's some flexibility right there, folks. Again. <laughs> Valentina ended up in the clinch, almost taking her down there at the end. And had her back for a second, but she seems to be committing and, and, and more confident in her strikes and moving forward. See, she, even there, she stood there and kept, tried to counter Valentina, whereas before she was just kind of touching with these punches. Now she's really trying to get in there and land them. Yeah, she's picking up the pace for sure. I think she recognizes that she's probably behind in this fight, and she's really got to pick it up. Takedowns, which requires a lot of energy. But so does defending them. Yeah. Counter right lands for Shevchenko. I think you know what it is. I think it's also discouraging, right? So it's not necessarily which one's more physically taxing. I think it's the person offensively trying to get the takedown and doesn't get it. That can drain you a little more just because it's it's also frustrating yeah. and diminishing. But she's got it now. She's got that underhook again, but last time she did that. She's giving up her back. She's giving up her back. She can't just do this. She can't just try to stand up like this. Wow, she's going to pull it off, though. Wow. We're definitely seeing some, I mean, that strength and conditioning program, whatever you want is on, is working. She's yes. showing that she's physically strong. She's hanging in here and it getting like up from these things. She's, she could she's, be taking the back, Yeah, Joe. it looks like she's trying to take her back now. And it, is it diminishing her at all? Well, and she, since yeah. Joanna's going up, I mean, she looks fresher right now. I mean, she looked fresher in the exchanges. I mean, we're just talking a slight bit, but enough that I'm noticing that right. she's coming on strong in the fourth. And Valentina seems to be fading a little bit. Now, look, Joanna got back up to her feet. She almost took her back. And a lot of times that can be a scale issue, too, whatever you're using for your cut. Pretty good land there towards the end of the round. Combat sports setting. For Valentina Shevchenko, now five minutes potentially away from finally becoming a UFC champion. Joanna's corner pleading on her oh. to test her. Look at that. Nice right hand. To, to really push her endurance. She said she's in excellent condition. Nice front kick to the body by Joanna. Oh, you're seeing that. I mean, she's amped up her pace in the third, fourth, and now fifth rounds and looks completely fresh. She doesn't look tired at all. But the strength of Shevchenko is the difference here. And Joanna staying busy. Even if they're little teeny rabbit punches, she's still working. She's scoring Referee's going to separate them. Well, I agree with that. Yeah, I do it too. I do now. So I want to see it. <laughs> all right, back to the center. We'll see what Joanna can do with the separation. Lands a flush right there. Slip? Yeah, no, it's just feet tangled. Both women have very nice front kicks to the body. Steam on that back kick now. Close the distance. Close the distance. Three, two. Pinch your eyes up there. Less than two minutes now to decide the UFC Women's Flyweight Championship. Joanna continuing to try to force the issue here late. Beautiful stick by Shevchenko. Control in the clinch, the power of her kicks and punches. She could be well behind in this fight right now. Based on how it's going, it would have to be something crazy. It would have to be yeah. a big head kick or yeah. something like that, a spinning back fist. And Shevchenko starting to let it go here a little bit late. Under a minute now to go. Oh, nice knee from Joanna. Final 30 seconds of the fight. Oh, there it is again. Oh, oh man. Nice right hand. 
You want to press it forward, though. Look at this. Oh. She got touched by a spinning back fist there. Final 10 seconds now. So Valentina Shevchenko and Ioana Jacek go the distance in this UFC Women's Flyweight Championship fight. Unofficially, both fighters landed exactly 92 significant strikes. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 49-46 for the winner by unanimous decision and new. Undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Valentina!